we definitely don't pay attention to it uh, because we feel like um, we feel like the, the underdog all the time. Um, you know, we don't always get the credit that we think we deserve, uh, but it's up to us to prepare for that game and come ready to play tomorrow. Well, it's very important. Uh, you know, when you when you stay loose, um, you just get the focus. Really, um, you can't be too excited for the game um, where you have mental errors. Uh, so we gotta we gotta be loose, but at the same time, we gotta be real locked in on what we're doing out there. Another game, another team in our way uh, of a special special season we could have. So um, just excited. The atmosphere is gonna be great. Um, our energy is gonna be high. We gotta play to the expectations of ourselves. Like I said, another team that um, has, has, be, has, be, has beaten me uh, every time I played them. So uh, just trying to just trying to find a way to get a win. That's the most, most important thing. I think it's easier as you get older, man. Especially, uh, I think for us, it's just it's a little easier just understanding uh, what the atmosphere. You know what the atmosphere is going to be like. You know how the how the energy is going to be. You know uh, the ins and outs of the game and the, and, and the players and the coaches and stuff like that. So. Um, I think the experience just allows you to uh, stay free and stay a little loose. <clears throat> oh, I watched this game. I don't even remember how young I was. I watched it, um, I mean, all the time. Um, I still remember, you know, all the, you know, with Michael Beasley, all that stuff. That was, you know, amazing time. Um, running into, like, little kids uh, practice afterwards, you know, oh, they won, they won, all that stuff. I mean, it was, uh, you know, I have real good memories all the way back then. and. Uh, you know, so it's, it means a lot to me. With that in mind, how much would it mean, A, to win this game, and B, to kind of be like the guy uh, for, uh, for the kids back in St. John, like you're the guy that's playing now? <laughs> um, you know, it would mean a lot to me, um, just for the, you know, being from Kansas, you know, watching this rivalry for so long. But, you know, I think it would mean a lot more to me. You know, we're sitting at the top of the Big 12 right now. And, you know, with this win, it would give us a great win um, in the Big 12 play and, you know, stretch us out a little farther, you know, give us a little distance between some other people um, and give us great confidence going into um, the weekend game. Um, you know, it's just KU's still a great team. Um, you know, they had some rough patches here and there, but, you know, they're still one of the better teams in the nation. we got to come out and, you know, earn a victory. It's just not going to come to us. Um, I mean, they got different players, but, I mean, like, like Dean said, they're still one of the top teams in the nation, still one of the um, – Still the favorite in the Big 12, and so uh, we got to come out and uh, really earn this victory. We got to um, no tendencies, no no personnel, no plays, no players, um, and then just know ourselves, know what we can do, know we can how how to attack, and um, put the points on the board for ourselves. Well, I think just for the guys, you got to be mentally ready to play. You can't just think because you're playing at home, you're gonna you know be able to win the game. It, it the last two years, it didn't happen, and that that's my big thing to come. You know, Barry just talked about it, be prepared, you know. Got to be who we are and and make sure we're good at it. We got to, you know, it's executing on offense, it's executing on defense, the things that we do well. And, and then you got to do it, you know, for 40 minutes because they'll, they'll keep coming at you. Um, you know, they have a great ability of finding a way to win close games. So it's uh, – uh, you know that's kind of the challenge. You know, we were we were really good Saturday. Obviously, it helps make shots, but you know, on both ends of the court, we we executed and did the things that uh, we practice and that we're good at. Probably. Um, I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I'm sure it's happened. I thought when I first got here, um, those the group we had. Uh, you know, Kansas has been a really good team. I mean, it's not like we sit in the office and talk about it. They. Last year, those you know, a lot of those guys were playing in the NBA. The year before, a lot of those guys played in the NBA. It's not that they're they're really good. They beat a lot of people on the road. But I thought when I first got here, I thought our guys. I'm not sure they believe they could beat them, and I'm not. And I thought maybe we were a little tight. Um, I'm I'm not sure if last year we were too loose. You know, to be honest, and and um, and I even talked about how you know, that they go on the road and they play at a high level. Now they've had a little more inconsistency this year on the road because they're younger and they're newer. And, um, you know, but his his teams, uh, Coach Self's teams, are, take a lot of pride in toughness. They take a lot of pride in, in you know, winning close games, making the right plays at the right time. Um, you know, and that's, you know, that's what we, we still got to approach the game like, like they're – 
a special team, and they are. They, you know, they've already beaten Tennessee, who's number one in the country. They've beaten Marquette, who we didn't beat. You know, so uh, you know they just beat Texas Tech by a bunch, and you know, take, and scored a bunch of po points against one of the best defensive teams. So they have, they have, they're they're a good team, and then we have to have a great mindset. Our our 15 guys in the locker room have to have great preparation, have great focus, and they got to go out there and execute what we do well.